another video, this is the first railway trip report I've done for quite a while since uh, lockdown and COVID-19, got the old face visor on, making myself look even more attractive than I already am. So today's trip is from Exodus and David's to Bodmin Parkway. I've actually been on the train already since London, but I've already filmed a lot of that route and when I went down to Cardiff, that video is online, do check it out. Unfortunately here at Exeter we are stuck here because of a signal problem at Newton Abbott. We've been sitting here for about half an hour now with no f current sign of movement but hopefully it won't be too long and we'll get underway and unfortunately these things do happen. I'm on board a Great Western Railways Class 800 Intercity Express train and uh, en route we'll be going along the Dawlish Sea Wall and across the famous Tamar Bridge just outside of Plymouth so plenty of exciting scenery to show you so as always sit back relax and enjoy the ride just left Totnes on our way down towards Plymouth however because of how late we are because of that point failure a bit further back up the line we are going to be terminating at Plymouth 
so we're all going to be kicked off the train and anyone that wants to carry on down towards Cornwall will be uh, given a bit more information it's a bit closer to the time so we will be getting another train from Plymouth down towards Bodmin fingers crossed it might be one of those uh, short set HSTs that'd be nice worst case scenario it's a sprinter but hey ho we're here for the journey and these things happen <laughs> On the way now out of Plymouth, we've changed trains. I'm on an Intercity 125, which is a bonus. It's an older train, and we're just leaving Plymouth. So these trains now are the older style trains that used to run between London and Cornwall, but they're um, now consigned to the local stuff here. Very shortly, we're going over the famous Tamar Bridge, with a big bridge built by Brunel. So that'll be exciting. I'll tell you that. Folks, I'm going to start wrapping up things here and uh, say farewell to you before we get to Bodmin. We're not very far away now, just a couple of minutes out from the station. It's been an interesting journey with Great Western today. Everything was all going well, all on time, out of Paddington, all the way down as far as Exeter when we, we were told that we had a uh, points failure a bit further on out into uh, Newton Abbott. So we had to sit at Exeter for almost an hour, but uh, we were kept informed by the crew and they were really helpful and uh, giving lots of people onward travel advice and lots of people going different places in Cornwall, etc. So that was really good of them. Um, and then we got down as far as Plymouth and we had to uh, change trains. The train that we were on was going to be, be sent back up to London and a train that was coming up from Penzance got terminated at Plymouth and then that made our train back down. However, got there and it was absolutely wedged full so I thought, mm, okay, so this is why we, uh, we opted for the slightly more classic Intercity 125 Castle sets that GWR operates. So these trains used to be the uh, the main fleet running up and down between London and Penzance and all over the West Country until they got replaced by the Intercity Express trains, the new Class 800 trains built by Hitachi. Um, quite a lot of them have been unfortunately scrapped but a few sets have remained, the carriage numbers have been reduced and you've got uh, a locomotive at each end which makes things a lot, a lot faster pulling off from stations and the trains have been refurbished inside the, the carriages that have survived so it's nice to have a, a ride on something a bit more classic which was a nice pleasant surprise really well if you're new to the channel if you've uh, this is your first video do take a moment to like comment and subscribe um, check out my other videos as well and i do plan on making way more videos in the future as and when travel permits especially in these strange times with uh, coronavirus floating around at the moment but uh, do stay safe and uh, don't forget, follow me on Instagram for uh, other bits and bobs as well. Thanks for watching. Bye.